situation for a country uh, to be able to survive uh, a, a building being foreclosed on, one building, to be able to even survive the water being turned off temporarily one time. People just did not realize how is it that you all continue to come back? Yeah. It's because God is in this business of Mars Brown County. That's what people don't understand. He's in the blessing business yeah. when it comes to Mars Brown County. Yeah. So we're ready to come out of this wilderness experience and move on to transforming our institution to what it was in the past. Yeah. And then we just ask for you to continue to pray, yeah. uh, to, to continue to be supportive. Right. And, uh, uh, and we, we are excited about what has to be done, and we hope that you will continue to stay excited as, as well. And, uh, and one way of sharing what we have been able to do is, in December of 2010, uh, we were able to, since 2003 when the college lost its accreditation, and many people, even when I arrived at Morris Brown College a few years ago, and I kept saying, in order for us to get where we need to get to, we're going to have to become accredited again. And uh, we have to work towards being an accredited institution. We have to act like an accredited institution. And we have to work towards getting to a point where we can apply. Well, on December 3rd, 2010, we made an application with the Transnational Association of Christian Colleges and Schools for our accreditation and have been accepted as an applicant school. So I think that that is worthy. significant progress towards this reinvention, your continued prayers and support is needed. But we are still here, 130 years of existence, not going anywhere, and we're going to become the global leader for educational reinvention by the year 2020. That's, that's our vision, that the new Mars Brown will help to define the future of learning and schooling for African Americans and others, just like our founders made an indelible impact on higher education in the 1880s. So we thank you for your continued support as we move toward that particular goal. Now, besides applying accreditation, there is one major standard that we have to overcome, and that has to do with financial stability. Uh, we have been placed in a position of being an applicant school, and they are allowing us, unlike the regional accrediting agency, the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, you heard SACS, SACS will not allow us to apply until we get fully stated. TRACS, which is the same accrediting agency, but it's a national accrediting agency that has allowed us to apply because if you apply, people can see that you're moving in the direction of getting, your, getting stable again, and they will invest into the college and help the college. And in one way that has been done is a graduate of the class of 2010, Senator Donzella James, brought a bill to the Senate a month ago that was passed that will allow the Marsh Brown College to continue to get the hope for four additional years. And as soon as the House passes it, will go to the governor for his signature. So we've got people always trying to help us as we move towards what we're trying to do. And then also, just a month ago, the Board of Trustees uh, gave me the authority to make an offer on one of our largest debts that we had with the college. Uh, it's on the books as a $5.4 million debt in the U.S. Department of Education. But when we had started having a discussion with the Department of Education on how we could get this debt eliminated, they indicated that in order for Morris Brown to have a clean slate with the Department of Education, so that whenever any candidacy approval comes to the Department of Education to release funds for students to get federal financial aid, Mars Brown needs to have a clean slate. In order to have a clean slate, four more million dollars need to be put on it because they felt like some audits were not completed. We didn't have nine million dollars, but we also know in application for accreditation that we had to get that hurdle cleared out of the way. So as with any other opportunity like we have here, you do what you have to do to try to bargain and negotiate to a point where you can try to get this debt eliminated. Now under normal circumstances on a debt like this, if you can get 40 cents on the dollar, 
30 cents on the dollar, that's a good deal. And in, in this environment, if somebody can let you pay off something for 30 cents on the dollar, you do it. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you what the Department of Education, that's why I know God is in this. Right. Mm -hmm. We said to them something that, that, that we even knew that they were going to have trouble with. We sent them an offer for five cents on the dollar. We said we'll give you $500,000 for $9 million worth of debt. And you know what? They accepted it. They accepted it, and that major hurdle dealing with the Department of Education can be cleared up for $500,000. That's a catch to it, always a catch to it. Always, yeah, listen, listen. But we gotta get it done in 90 days. We can do it. We can do it. When the water was turned off, we raised $250,000 in 30 days. That's what happened in January of 09. When, when the people get motivated and excited about the opportunity, they go even beyond their, their ability sometimes to do what they have to do. I mentioned this to the annual conference in Columbus where Bishop DeVoe is, and uh, before I could get from the altar, a preacher had brought me a $500 check. And said, so you only get 499 more people to get something like this, you'll be almost there. We have other obligations. We got to pay, we got back pay for employees, and we got vendors we got to pay. But we also know that this is an opportunity for us to clear a major hurdle. And so we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. I thought that I was going to be able to get an extension of 30 days. And a uh, guy told me who's working on the inside, the one that told us that, uh, 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 you know, we may be able to get it for less than a million dollars. They're going to try to do a million dollars, but he told us to do 500000 and it worked out. But he also indicated that uh, they're not going to bend on the 90 days. Uh, now, the, the key to it is that whenever we officially receive the settlement letter, which has to be approved by the Department of Justice first, and then it comes back to us, that gives us a little running time. You know, you know, time that's not on the books. You know, so we've got about a month on the books. So it still ends up being about 120 days. Now, don't think that you can't raise a half million dollars. Because some people have already responded to it. And if everybody gives the 1881 society like that we would like for them to give, we could raise six million dollars. You know, so let's go look at five hundred thousand dollars is all we have to raise. We're trying to raise six million dollars by June 30th. And it can be done. And it can be done. And this 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 day, we're gonna start that process. And uh, I know that there are some that have made some commitments uh, and some that are ready to bring whatever they need to bring. And in the last few days we've received some from those that have been given, but uh, uh, Dr. Pollock and uh, 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 Todd Black, 